It's important to know if you're going to have a clot due to blocked blood supply or a blood vessel that is ruptured because the treatment of the two is very different. If we can identify the lack of blood supply to the brain, that's like a clot in a blood vessel, like a heart attack. We call it a brain, brain attack. We've got medicines that can dissolve that clot, some clot busters, and it's very, very important that we identify. So if somebody has symptoms of a stroke, numbness on one side, slurred speech, drooling on one side, um, can't, can't wrinkle their forehead, uh, when they show their teeth, just one side shows. All of those are sudden blindness. All of those are signs of a stroke, and the doctor needs to know at the emergency room if it is a bleeding hemorrhagic stroke or a blood clot stroke. Now, the hemorrhagic stroke is usually pain like you've never had, sudden, and then you get the weakness on the side. When you go to the emergency room, They'll get a CT scan or other x-rays of the brain to decide which type of stroke it is. If it's a brain attack, clot busters. If we do that within 90 minutes, sometimes we can restore the blood supply to the brain and the problems with having rehabilitation are much, much less. So you could have a stroke and not have any residual. With the hemorrhagic stroke, it's important not to give clot clot busters because that would make it more difficult to stop the bleeding which is where the problem is. So the two different kinds the key is no signs the early signs of a stroke and get to the emergency room immediately.